everyone. Welcome to Google Cloud Career Practitioner Campaign Info Session. I am Shambhavi Singh, the facilitator for our campus. And today I shall be telling you about how to register for this campaign, what it is about. So cloud computing is making uh, resources available to people remotely so they can use it at less costs. And uh, it's an efficient use of huge pool of resources. There could be there are differences between hosting your uh, services on premise and using cloud computing. So on premise, you are going to buy your own servers and maintain them. You are going to rent or pay for real estate on from your pocket. You are going to hire the IT professionals and you are going to take all the risks. However, when you uh, use the pr facilities provided by cloud providers, they are going to set up the infrastructure and servers. They are going to lend the, uh, rent the real estate. They are going to hire the IT professionals. They take all the risk. What you do is just code your program and instruct what you want, whatever you want to do. You make uh, use of the, the facilities given. So what is the Google Career Cloud Practitioner Campaign? Uh, for short, I'll be calling it GCCP throughout the event. So it's an initiative by Google Developer Student Clubs that enables students in GDSEs to uh, learn about cloud and uh, the technologies provided by it. So throughout the campaign, you'll be learning about the cloud. You'll build on the Google Cloud platform. You'll be certified by getting skill batches that you can show on your social media profiles, LinkedIn, etc. And you'll be industry ready by then because you can then say that, yeah, you know how to work on cloud. So the campaign has two phases. It was a three months long campaign. So first of half of it was only for the facilitators and the second half is for facilitators and the community. So your involvement starts from this point. So uh, the enrollment form was supposed to come by November 3rd. I haven't yet got it. So I'll be sharing the uh, enrollment form with you as soon as I get it. And uh, between the timeline to fill the form is November 3rd to November 6th. So at most 100 entries will be accepted and uh, you have to make sure that right details are provided and uh, the data will be checked and then uh, incorrect forms might be uh, rejected and by 14 14 november you'll get the access code for the google cloud platform the labs so uh, and uh, the campaign might go on till december 14 so what are you all signing up for you are signing up for learning from uh, the Google Cloud platform, and it is ideally recommended for people who are beginners at Google at cloud computing, and who have not participated in uh, any previous campaigns like 30 days of Google Cloud and all. And support will be provided by us, and from Go access to Google Cloud skill platform will also be provided. And you are joining up for the Google Cloud uh, for the cloud engineer learning path. So this is the cloud engineer learning path. Under this, you have these uh, uh, quests and courses. So like if I go to the Kubernetes course, Kubernetes, so it's like this is the page. And so each course needs you to have some credits. Do a course, like this, this course needs 25 credits. At the end of the course, you'll be able to, uh, you'll know how to use the Kubernetes engine. And you'll have a certain completion batch that you can showcase on your profiles. And uh, usually the cloud uh, courses need you to pay some credits. So like one credit cost one US dollar. Up till 40 credits, it's one credit, one dollar, one dollar. After 40, if you purchase in bulk, it's some discount. So in our campaign, the first 100 registrants will get access to these courses for free. All of these, you can do it for free and uh, He'll be assisting you. I'll be assisting you as a facilitator on how to work it. So how will the learning take place? I will be carrying. I'll carry out the campaign in the campus. The campaign will be divided into sessions. It might be weekly, uh, one session a week, up till uh, December 14. So there will be workshops and hands-on sessions on the Google Cloud platform, and sessions are aimed at understanding concepts and in implementing solutions using the concept learn. How will you sign up? As I told already, the form will be released on 3rd November and stay open till 6th November, 11.30 p.m. IST. Forms have not yet arrived. Each campus, like GDSC, AACB, has a different form link. That way, every GDSC will have a different form link. So we are yet to uh, get asked. 
form will be shared by the facilitators. Different form links will be different will be provided to different campuses. How many students can sign up? Only 100 students will be accommodated from each campus. So out of all of you, first 100 to sign up will be accepted. Any additional entries will be rejected by our system. So even the 101st entry will be rejected. How do you fill the form? Of course, provide accurate information. Any incorrect information provided, like old skill boost URL, incorrect email address. I'll get get back to skill boost platform or data will be rejected by the system automatically. So I said the field forms will go will go through a data check. So if your detail, these details are incorrect, your form gets rejected out of 100 application. One application is wasted. Fill the form only once. Duplicate entries will be rejected. So if a person is filling two forms, only a first entry will be accepted and the second form could be filled by some other student. They lose their chance. So creating a cloud skill boost account. You go to cloud skill boost on Google. I'll uh, send these links in the follow up message in the team's channel and the WhatsApp groups. So you go to cloud skill boost Google. Jo click on join and then you fill all of these. Make sure you do not use an uh, old cloud skill boost account because then you won't be able to use the access code that will be provided to you. It will say invalid code as far as I know. Uh, so ensure that you use a new email ID. You make a new account and you use both the, the new email ID and the new cloud skill boost URL in your registration form. Now don't do not share your link on public forums like LinkedIn, Instagram. Quick action will be taken if anyone is seen doing this. This uh, no one is allowed to do it, and uh, each campus is getting a different link. So Amrita School of Engineering, Bangalore will only take up take students who are from this college. So sharing it on other platforms is uh, pointless, and uh, other people are getting their links. So don't do that. Ensure that you provide a new skill boost account link. Provide correct email address, and make sure you just select the right campus name. So please don't make a mistake in that. There are three GDSCs with Amrita School of Engineering. Make sure you choose Bangalore. What do you get from participating in our campaign? So questions come up like, will we get swags or something? Right? So we aren't sure of that yet. While learning remains our primary focus, we will share more about recognition and what is expected of the participants by 14 November tentatively along with the student access code. So the access codes that you'll be using to log into uh, the Google Cloud platform. And uh, please note, this campaign is different from any other campaign that was previously hosted by GDSE India. So don't equate, to, equate it to campaigns like 30 days of Google Cloud. This is completely new and very different. So I'll be uh, sending the form as soon as I get it on our uh, team's channel on the WhatsApp groups and uh, you could uh, join this WhatsApp group for the GCCP campaign. So the updates will also be uh, sent here. You could send all your doubts regarding the program on this group. Again, repeating 100 participants only will get the access codes. Enter correct details or your form will be rejected. Use a new email ID and a new cloud skills platform uh, account. Make sure you send the correct uh, college name, correct name, and don't share the link with anyone else who is not in Amrita. Yeah, and make sure you are in the WhatsApp group and in the team's channel, and also you have signed up to the events platform because every update about the upcoming sessions, about the form, registration form, everything will be shared on those. So make sure you sign up. You may ask on the group if you don't have any links to any channels or platform. That's all from GDSC. Thank you.